We are continuing our series of reports this morning about staying hydrated. Yesterday, we told you about how much water you need to drink to stay healthy. Now we're focusing specifically on sports drinks. So you've probably seen a lot of commercials about how they have electrolytes in them, which are important for your body health, no doubt. But many of those same drinks are also filled with other ingredients, and they're not always healthy. They do have, you know, some electrolytes added with water. Um, they do generally have a good amount of sugar added and food dye, depending on the brand and the kind. So I think that it's important if you are going to choose an electrolyte replacer, an enhanced beverage, you look at the other ingredients. And so that's Julia Zumpano. She's a registered dietitian with Cleveland Clinic. She says that electrolytes play a big role in our overall health, certainly, and also help with keeping us hydrated. You know, the function of our brain, our heart, muscles, and nerves. Some of the more common electrolytes added to sports drinks include sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. However, there are other electrolytes that we need too. She says that you can get them, all of them, on a regular basis by simply eating a healthy diet that's rich in whole foods. They're all sourced in different foods, but you know, there's a common theme. And the common theme is that they're found in fruits and vegetables. They're found in beans and seaweed, dairy, dark chocolate, fatty fish, olives, pickle juice, bone broth, um, nuts and seeds, and then leafy grains. She says it's really best to skip sports drinks. Instead, consider getting electrolytes by when they're considering sports drinks for their kids. Yeah, so nutritionists say that most children and teenagers should avoid using sports drinks, as I mentioned, unless they're doing endurance sports or, or training really intensely, you know, long workouts, mm -hmm. you know, they're really strenuous. In that case, it's also good to develop a sports drink plan with their coach and also talk to the pediatrician. I, know I did this with my daughter, in fact, because a lot of those sports drinks, and you know, with Emily, they have a ton of sugar in them. So and for caffeine. Yeah, and caffeine. Yeah. You have to be careful of that as well. So for children, you also want to stay away from drinks that have that high con at caffeine content. It's usually on the bottle. It's in large black letter at the bottom, but a lot of times the kids don't really pay that much attention to it. They're drinking what everybody else is drinking. If it has that high caffeine content, they don't get sleep. If they don't no. get sleep, then they don't and do well in school. It doesn't help them perform on the court exactly. or wherever on the field either.